Welcome to Mind Behind Academy Beginner Course. Today I would like to share with you some tips that can ease the process of building the chatbot and in the same way they can personalize the experience of user. So first of all, I would like to show you how to work a bit more with your assistants. So let's go to assistants tab that you can find in your company management. On the right side of all of assistants that I have, we have three different icons. The first one is open on new page, which makes opening your particular chatbot as fast as possible. You don't have to go to another assistant icon you, that you can find on the left. You can immediately simply click this icon and at once you will go to your assistant. Another icon is simply copy your assistant. So we don't recommend to copy a bot including an AI action since this AI will be also copied and two different bots will start to have the same AI. Unless, they, unless you will use the same AI in two bots, after you copy the bot, you need to change AI connection in one of them. Let's say that you will be having a, a bot with the same flows but different intents. So you need to change one of AI connection. And the last icon is simply to delete assistant. To delete your assistant, you need to confirm by typing delete and simply clicking yes. So now let's go to our assistant because also in assistant, we have some tips that can, that can help you to personalize the experience of the user. So let's start with any message, with any sent message. In here on the bottom, you have module delay. If you have used different message or selection actions on one after another for one flow and you don't want your user feel a bit overwhelmed with so much information at once, you can use module delay. Here you can put some delay in seconds. It can be either three seconds or 3000 seconds. You can delay the message as much as you want and you can do it both in send selection and send message. In here you can also copy the module and delete it. So right now let's go to send selection because also there we have some tips for you. In here on the bottom, you have again module delay that I mentioned be, uh, before. Then you have module keyword. Keywords allow your chatbot to understand some keywords that the user might write rather than selecting it with a button. You can connect keywords to the designed area that they need to go if they were chosen through a button. Then we have module input parameter, which lets you track the choice of your users. So in here, you can direct your users according to their selection, also by using parameter in logic action. And then deciding in which path of flow users should go. In the end, we have module error and module error acts as warning for your users when they move out that when they move outside the flow you created for them for these errors you can politely write what you would like to the user do to do or simply ask them to repeat their action and then we have module copy and de module delete as we had in um, send message so right now with our three beginners course you have become familiar with mind behind platform in our intermediate classes, we will start to create decision tree chatbots and we will be publishing our chatbot on different channels. So see you in our next course.